Hello, Common Sensors. Today we're going to watch a video of a professional impersonator of the police. This guy who dresses up like a cop, wears a badge like a cop, goes around town acting like a cop. He gets arrested. I'm going to break down the arrest. We're going to learn something and we're going to have a little fun at the same time. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Joe Pometto, Joe the Lawyer. This is my channel, Common Sense Academy. We look at sovereign citizens, auditors, and a whole bunch of other stuff like today, this professional police impersonator. Um, but before we get to the video, I know the real reason you came. It's because when we sip together, it tastes better. So grab that vodka, coffee, tea, whatever beverage you like, raise it in the air, cheers with me, and let's do the same time sip. <sighs> Delicious. Also, if you want to support this show, please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. It's a free way to support the show. It incentivizes me to make more videos because YouTube gives me a higher ranking. Also, join my email list. You'll get a free PDF, History and Examination of the Sovereign Citizen Movement, just for signing up. Lots of cool stuff every week. More free PDFs, updates on all my content. You can unsubscribe at any time. Now, let's watch this video. on my body cam, Sergeant. Okay, you're, you're so, that's not a firearm, Sergeant. Let's go. That's a less lethal, Sergeant. Oh, so legally, for the first load of statute, I'm allowed to carry that, Sergeant. 970. Go ahead and look it up, Sergeant. The vehicle's not stolen, Sergeant. I have the registration for the vehicle, Sergeant. I have the registration for the vehicle, Sergeant. Sergeant, get your lieutenant, please. There is no lieutenant. I'm then in. get a captain. There is no captain. Then I'm get in. somebody that outranks you, Sergeant. Nobody I have the me. very valid registration, Sergeant, that shows the state of Florida gave me the registration and that tag. The, the tag was stolen off another motorcycle. That motorcycle was stolen. We were given the tag back by Orange County Sheriff's Office, and then that tag was given to us by the Department of Motor Vehicles, Sergeant. Why you have handcuffs? Make sure you have your body cameras running. Body cameras are running. Why you have handcuffs? I'm not talking to you, officer. Okay. I have the registration for that vehicle, Sergeant. I want everyone on this scene with their body cameras rolling. Roger. pass on a double yellow. I stayed with inside the double yellow, which is legal for us in the state of Florida, per Florida escort. I can pull the statute as well. Somebody get zero, get with him and explain to him that's less lethal on per Florida statute 960. We can have that. He's saying we, I stole the bike. But it's registered to the company. Come back over here, stay over there. 
Sergeant, I can prove the registration. Stay, over there. Stay against the car. Sergeant, stay over there. We don't walk over here. Sergeant, I can prove the registration. As soon as we prove the police. Oh, okay. But you're 15 of me and you're holding me here in front of all these people. We could have done this professionally, not like children. Just because you don't like me and you have a history with me doesn't authorize you to treat me like shit. You treat me like shit. You are, Sergeant. Okay, everybody can move on. No, no, they're 12 with me, just like your officers would no. be if you needed help. Make no, 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 they're, they're staying with her or my order. Stay Hey, the officers, car. I'm getting this all what on video you camera. Cool vest on. And I can promise you, I can promise you, this isn't going to go the way you're planning. Officer, I have my body camera on. So what, just leave my helmet off for right now, sorry, officer. officer. I'm taking it off. Okay. Take my glasses off before you do that. Take my glasses off before you do that. Look forward. You got handcuffs? Where's the handcuff key? Whenever we're done running the 2829 on the bike and I can verify the registration, we can move forward. Anything in your shoes? Henry, where's the handcuff key? So, I don't you have, have, you have my keys, but he already he left on my motorcycle. I just advise you, it's on my motorcycle in the bag. Are we done now, Sergeant, so we can run the tag and get that verified? Because yeah, I haven't doing stole that. my motorcycle. You're already doing that, Jeremy. Are you? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So then why are we continuing to push me around and shove me while we're searching? We've taken the baton and the mace, and officer safety is clear now. Is it not, Sergeant? We're not done. Okay. Relax. Just relax, Jeremy. Oh, well, I'm relaxed, Sergeant. Airsoft? It's not airsoft. It's less lethal. Under 90, 970 statute, I can carry mace in any de de device that delivers it. Pull the statute. Well, I actually have it on the statute. 970. I can carry mace, and I can carry mace in any device that delivers it. The judge has already cleared it in Orange County. Let's take a bill. Because the Honda was stolen, and we got the tag back from the Orange County Sheriff's Office, and then we registered it to that motorcycle. And that motorcycle has that tag. And the Department of Motor Vehicles issued the registration sticker for that tag. Huh? All right. In the car, dude. You just chill. If it's, a, if it's an issue, we'll, we'll figure it out. But you screaming and yelling isn't going to change that. Okay. Well, pulling me out or putting me in when, when, when your car is, my God, when it shows signal 10, right. stolen, it's a felony. So that's how it's done. Registration. And I have the registration on right. my phone, but Just you guys sit are tight, refusing okay? to listen. Just sit tight. Okay. Open the window, please, officer. Thank you. Officer, sir, Good. that shit's not stolen. What? I please get a lieutenant. I'm begging you to get a lieutenant. I never resisted you. Sir, officer, I know you see I'm a felon, that's why you're ignoring me. Keep driving. Keep driving. Go, man. Go. I'm getting this all on video 
Let's go. Let's go. Keep moving. Oh, you guys can keep going. Go park down the road somewhere else, but keep going. Allowed to carry guns? It's a BB gun. It's airsoft. Check that side on the... It does say Kawasaki. Okay? Yeah, it's hot though. I'm it twice now. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was right there. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to do is, when Bill's existing, he was stopped for a violation. I got a camera. Do the cameras on him? No, he's in the car. He's in the car. He's in the car. Mine's already good. I I have to believe that one of the one of the um, least intelligent things that you can do is dress up like a police officer, go out into the world, and act like a police officer when you're not a police officer. Now, don't get me wrong; there are some dumber things than that, but this is this is up there. This is up there. So let's take a look at this video, and then I'll give you a little background on this gentleman. Uh, number one, he's there saying that he needs video. He needs video. He's got a body cam uh, taped to him. The whole thing was recorded on the police body cam. So, sir, you don't have to worry. It's going to be recorded uh, regardless, all right? Um, I, 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 I found it a little funny when the office, when he's asking, when the gentleman's asking for the lieutenant, he's saying, get me the lieutenant, pull in the, uh, supervisor stuff. And this, this sergeant who's arresting him says, nobody outranks me. I mean, uh, that's not true. That's him, you know, giving it to this guy a little bit. But when you're taking it like that, it's hard, uh, not to give it back a little bit. Um, now, let's go through this guy's utility belt. He thinks he's Batman or Bruce Wayne. It appears first that the officer pulls out some handcuffs during the arrest, um, a baton, mace. He has, they come to later, he has a bulletproof, bulletproof vest, and finally, an airsoft BB gun. Some information on airsoft BB guns, because as you're going to see, this individual was a felon. Even felons who lose, if you commit a felony in the United States, you lose your firearm rights. That's federal law, every state in the country, okay? Some states you even lose your rights for misdemeanors. If you get a misdemeanor one in Pennsylvania, you lose your firearm rights, okay? If you get convicted of any crime that carries a sentence, of a max sentence of more than two years, you lose your firearm rights permanently, okay? However, you can still carry an airsoft gun. You can still use a BB gun. I know this because I had a client lost his lost his firearm rights however uh, he was concerned he owned a farm and he wanted to kill varmints that came onto his farm ate his crops stuff like that and he could still use an airsoft BB gun for it so um, th that's an interesting factor that's probably why this guy's uh, running around with this airsoft BB gun so let's talk about why he was pulled over now um, you hear the police chat about it at the end of the video. If you watched all the way to the end, um, they say, you know, he committed some traffic violations, all right? So he was outside the double yellow lines. Uh, and and I read a, a little bit of a narrative that was written on this guy later. Apparently his last name is DeWitt, and he's known for doing this. He's known for going out and impersonating a police officer. Now, I, now do I think this gentleman's a sovereign citizen? Doesn't appear that way. Uh, but he probably has some sovereign citizen beliefs if he's out there acting like a cop, okay, when he has no reason to. Um, he's certainly not that bright, just like the sovereign citizens. So, um, look, he was, he moved outside the de double yellow line. He was driving with a funeral procession, procession, uh, guiding a funeral procession. Okay. He's wearing, um, he's wearing, uh, looks what appears to be a police uniform and also, uh, the, this utility belt. Okay. Uh, when they pulled him over, the, the, the vehicle came up, his bike, which I don't know if you saw it in the video, but it had lights all over it. Now, that's that would be useful for driving with a funeral possession, but it also 
imitates um, a police vehicle. So uh, it came up with a hit for being stolen. They said that they detained and disarmed him for officer safety, which uh, can be done if a person's, you know, uh, if a person's, uh, let's say, do an open carry, okay, they have multiple weapons on them, the police uh, are effectuating arrest, they're allowed to disarm the individual. So they pulled them over for these these uh, multiple violation, multiple traffic violations outside the double yellow line, moved another car outside of their lane. That was what the police observed. And then the vehicle came up, the bike came up as a hit for being stolen. So that's when they decided to detain him. Now, that's not that uncommon because the police can't always clear a, ve a stolen vehicle uh, within a short period of time. So they may arrest, detain someone, even charge that person until they can find out uh, if the vehicle was actually stolen or not. See, sometimes people will get, uh, vehicles will get a stolen status and it and it takes a while to clear that from the police systems. I've seen that happen. Um, I've had people charged with stolen vehicles um, only for us to later on down the line, and I'm, I'm talking weeks into the court process, get them cleared of the charges when we produce the documentation and it was cleared through the system. Um, so it's not unusual for a vehicle to come up hit and you hear him saying throughout the transaction, I have the registration, it's clear now, blah, blah, blah. But the officers don't always know that. No, they, they don't always get that information on the spot. Even today when we have technology gives us instant access. Um, this guy had a badge on that said motor officer. That's pretty darn close to impersonating a police officer. Okay. Um, he apparently had no active security license. The, he claimed, Mr. DeWitt claimed he had a private security license. I don't know the rules when it comes to security licensing. I don't, I don't believe that you necessarily have to be licensed, okay? But it doesn't help if you're not licensed and you're driving around looking like a police officer, okay? It's true that security guards do wear badges and insignias that sort of look like police officers. Uh, you would, you would mistaken them for that. Um, I honestly don't know all the rules for wearing uniforms like that and or the licensing. I'll just, I'm just going to say that um, right here. He was uh, charged with uh, resisting, w resisting arrest, but no violence. Um, he's charged with impersonating a police officer, unlawful use of a two-way device. I don't know what that is. Must have been him calling in um, for his friends to come to videotape the scene. I, again, I don't know what that is or if that's actually illegal or not. That kind of that kind of sounds like a BS charge, okay? But I, I don't know exactly what that charge is. Uh, two traffic violations, which were modified to a reckless driving. Um, here's the the crazy part: is he had a body cam on. The police seized his body cam. They watched the videos on the body cam, and then they saw evidence of further crimes of impersonating a police officer. So he was released, I imagine, after he was given bond, and then he was arrested two more times for the evidence that the police pulled off of the body cam. He came, filed a complaint with the police station, and filed multiple complaints with the police station. Uh, I, I don't know how this case panned out. It would be interesting to see. You know, my gut instinct is... He, he, they might be able to hit him with that impersonating a police officer. That's a felony. That's a felony. These resisting arrests, no violence. I don't, you know, those are often reduced. Um, if there's some violent contact, the police sometimes won't reduce them. And they're not always reduced because the police don't, they want to send a message when it comes to resisting arrest. They don't want to go easy on people because they want to deter this type of behavior. Though he may have been able, I'll be honest, you know, he could probably take that and impersonating arrest case to trial, he might beat that. Or I'm sorry, resisting arrest, he might beat that. You know, the traffic violation, he's not going to beat. The unlawful use of a two-way device, I don't know. He might not beat that. The one he's going to worry about is impersonating a police officer. That's a felony charge. Um, that can be a pretty serious charge. Uh, and, and that's another one like resisting arrest the police don't mess around with. So look, if you're going to go out and act as security, okay, or or um, act as uh, some sort of, um, I can't think of the word right now, uh, uh, escort, okay, I don't know if that's the right word for a funeral, something along those lines, make sure you let the police know, okay, get the proper licensing, do it in line with the law, all right, if they don't know you're out there looking like a cop and you don't have the proper licensing, this is going to happen.
okay and it should and it and it should because we can't have people out there impersonating police officers the whole system breaks down i mean look mr dewitt get some common sense okay and don't pick up those sovereign citizen books because you would probably be uh be especially gullible to them i can already tell um thank you for tuning into common sense academy please subscribe like comment share sharing the videos is a great free way to support the show this show will always remain free sign up for my email list you're going to get a free pdf off the bat all kinds of cool stuff uh every week after week you can always unsubscribe if you don't like it very few people unsubscribe they like it they see my videos i don't spam them okay so sign up for my email list thank you for watching common sense academy out